And when I was standing there, I see a truck, a black, like, SUV, and it just pulled up, and it was going really slow, like it was looking for something. So I was like, I didn't pay it no mind, and I was talking to my friends. And then I turn around, and I see them, I see a guy in a white, like, shirt get out, and he's yelling at my uncle. And I'm like, what did he do? I don't know why he's yelling at him. Like, he just stepped off this porch, and he didn't do anything, so I don't know why everybody, why the guy's yelling at him. And then I see the guy, when he got out, he's, when I looked over, he had a gun in his hand. And he had his gun, well, I was watching, and as soon as he got out the truck, he had his gun in his hand. And was just waiting to, like, he, and then he, everybody keeps saying that he did, he, wouldn't raise his hands. He wasn't resisting. His hand was out of his pocket. One had a cigarette in his hand. The other one, he kept saying it was a chapstick. It was the same thing as this. A little tiny bit bigger. And this is the exact same color. This is what he had in his pocket of his hoodie. And as he pulled his hand out, it was in his hand. But this is what he had. And he told the officer several times, it's a chapstick. All I have is a chapstick. All I have is a chapstick. And when he shot him and he hit the ground, that's what he had in his hand. That's what he had I didn't understand why he shot him. He only said two. He kept saying he had a chapstick, and that was it. And he shot him anyway. There was. I don't know why you'd shoot him if he keeps saying he has a chapstick. I don't know how you feel threatened by a chapstick. I, I don't know. Especially when you have a gun and a taser. And the first thing, he didn't reach for his taser. First thing he grabbed was his gun.